Hey, what is up, guys? Steve here, and it is time to start another stream. As always, we have Speedrunner 028 with us. Hello. And special guest, <coughs> Scott Thoughts. Hey, it's good to be here. And we are going to be doing Rayquaza in Generation 1. Oh, no. Are we going to have pronunciation conflicts? Rayquaza? Yes, we will. <laughs> yeah, it's mostly Steve who does it. Okay. Oh, really? I used to do it, too. I've always known it was Rayquaza, because I knew about the word, like, Quasar. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's what I kind of base it off of. Sorry, I well, derailed the intro. No, it's yeah. all right. <laughs> so, I don't know if you guys got ta time to take a look at the moveset before we get started, but um, newsflash, we start with Gust. So... Ugh. probably not going to be beating Brock very quickly and putting up a competitive time. Especially not with Groudon and Kyogre. But every single Pokemon does, in fact, have to, you know, have its place somewhere. So somebody's got to be at the bottom. Somebody's got to, you know, not everybody can have a moveset that's going to be perfect. There's always going to be that Jinx in there that's really good. Struggles at Brock. Yeah, Jinx is painful for Brock. Yeah. Maybe I'm I'm bad. curious, maybe you can go through the moves that uh it learns and talk about like why the choices were made cuz I'm sure some people will have those questions. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Definitely. I've got both sets of move sets on my uh monitor if you guys want to check over on my stream very quickly, but um the original moveset has Twister as its starting move, so we went with Gust. <laughs> I unfortunately gotta say that this is probably the right comparison, even though it's the most annoying comparison. Um, yeah, Twister the, Twister is pretty bad. Yeah. The, the only thing I could have probably made it a little bit more authentic since twister gets stabbed and gus does not get stabbed maybe we could have gone wing attack but i mean one for one it's it's more of a gust which kind of sucks yeah and uh string shot is to replace scary face because i think string shot's the only move in gen one that lowers speed without doing damage so it was the best one we had yeah i, I think that is true i don't think there is any move in generation one that lowers speed by two stages I don't think so, no. Yeah. Then we've got Rock Throw for Ancient Power. Unfortunately, yep. it has to be Rock Throw. It's the closest in power. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately. Unfortunately, the yeah, accuracy is pretty it. bad. <laughs> yeah. And then if you're wondering at level 30 and 31, there's Meditate and Agility. That's to try and replace Dragon Dance, which boosts attack and speed. So we have one for attack. And one for speed. Did you? Yeah. Unfortunately, I couldn't think of a single move that increases your speed by one stage. I don't think there is one either. I think it's only agility. Yeah. yeah. Which is crazy when you think about it, because like there's plus ones for and plus twos for a lot of the typings, but just yeah. not speed. I know. Speed's like, yeah. I was thinking about it the other day too, like, um, String Shot is a bug move and it lowers speed, and agility is usually on flying type of Pokemon, but it raises it by two stages. It's almost like the developers wanted to like really make sure that flying types countered bug types. So you get your speed lowered by a bug, but you can just boost it two stages instead. I don't think flying types will need agility to counter a bug type. Yeah, I know. That's the point. It's like so weird. Uh, yeah. Weird. <clears throat> Alright, um, for move types that typically don't exist, like Crunch, we kind of went with the more normal route because there's just a lot more normal moves to go with, and we don't yeah. want to give it a typing that it doesn't necessarily deserve. So that's why it gets Tri Attack at 35. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tri Attack, uh, the move that doesn't have a secondary effect in Generation 1. Always, uh, Everyone always tells me you should use more Tri Attack. No. It's just bad. Yeah, that I wish correct. it had that secondary effect. Yeah, that would be sweet. I don't remember what Pokemon we used Tri Attack not too long ago, but the 10 PP on it became very 
obvious very quickly. Yeah, sadly. And then um, the rest of them are kind of one for one, if you notice. I mean, we got uh, Body Slam for Extreme Speed, relatively the same. I mean, we could have given it Tri Attack, but I mean, level 60, I think it's not even going to matter. Yeah. And then there's moves like Flamethrower and Hyper Beam, because it gets Hyper Beam at a late level, but we're probably not going to reach either of those levels. I think if someone reaches level 65, um, <clears throat> something will have gone wrong. Yeah, you messed. Yeah, you messed up. It's level sixty-five yeah. is meant for like the worst of the worst. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't agree with that. I say it's I not the worst of the worst. On the majority of my runs that are just not slow level up growth. Yeah, slow growth yeah, rate. But, like slow growth yeah, rate but, is gonna be like I don't know, maybe like a level sixty finish, but that's even with some extra battles. That'd also be like after 10, 11 rare candies. Yeah. And the rest of the moves are pretty one for one explanatory. Um, yeah. There are plenty of moves it did not get because there were no other moves that were one for one comparisons. Mm hmm. Yeah, like, and I, I think it makes sense for this thing to have like kind of all the elemental stuff. It has both water moves, both ice moves, both electric moves, fire blast. Yeah. Rock yeah, slide. Because I remember. Yeah. Yes. It actually it gets it in Gen 3 as a move tutor. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I usually look at the move tutors when I'm doing backports. They really, 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 really show, like, a good... They give yeah. a good sense of what would they would have had in Generation 1. Yeah, it helps with Gen 2 as well, because some of the Gen 3 tutors are Gen 2 moves, like Icy Wind or Snore or uh, yeah. Fury Cutter. Um, I'll go through the base stats, I guess. So base stats has uh, 105 HP, 150 attack and special... 90 defense oh, yeah. and 95 speed, giving it an 18.36% chance to crit in Generation 1. Yeah, like the reason... To... Oh, God. The reason it's 150 special is because Steve and I are going by the... Uh, what do you call it? The Chansey Rule? Where okay. you just use the higher number. So <laughs> the Chansey just, Rule. That's what Gym Leader Matt calls it. He calls it the Chansey Rule. Oh, I like exception. that. Good job, Gym Leader Matt. That is a good rule. Chansey Rule, okay. Uh, yeah. Right, yeah. So... Um. Uh, just a couple things before I start. My, uh, if you're if you've listened to me for a long time, you'll probably notice my voice sounds kind of strained today. I have actually hardly talked at all. This is just what happens to my voice later in the day, uh, and it's why I was so concerned about it last year. Anyways, I'm gonna do my best to sound okay for this stream, but if I sound a bit hoarse, sorry. Uh, and then the second thing is there's like construction outside, so you might hear a little bit of background noise. Apologies in advance. All right, I think that's about everything, isn't it? Yeah. Should All we right. finish off the weather trio? Oh, yeah. We shall. Make sure you uh, click options and then back out of options oh, at least once. Yeah, it yeah, does, yeah. in fact, make a difference. It does, I, yes. I tested that. Also... Make sure that yeah. I have my encounters turned on. Yep. Yeah, I don't want you getting ready. no encounter Mount Moons. No, it's like, I'm good at cheating, don't worry. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. Alright, are you ready, Steve? Yep. Okay, three, two, one, go. Another oh, thing yeah, is... Some good yeah, text. instant text speed. So, just so everyone's aware, this is not going to be comparable with, like, regular footage, that sort of stuff on uh, on my channel. Nice thing about instant tech speed is it does in fact punish you for doing extra training and it does not punish nearly as much for people who skip the training because then you could th go through things without with less animations. Yeah. It also doesn't punish like a lot of like, um, like picking up items and stuff in the overworld because that just takes less time. Yeah. Or like talking to NPCs, like the girl in Celadon to get all the TMs and stuff. That can sometimes yeah. take a while. Yeah, like I always like p talking to Potion Guy on Route 1. <laughs> oh, I haven't talked to that guy in a long time. Oh, I talk to him most every run. Really? Well, I, I guess that makes more sense because you're playing, I'm playing yellow, you guys are playing blue, right? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So like in yellow version, it makes less sense to talk to him because you can just buy potions in the Viridian Mart. 
But those yeah, potions that, don't exist in red and blue. Nope. So if you're going to get potions early game, you have to get them from like the guy or from the PC or from uh, the other locations in the forest where they're available or the tree in Viridian City. Yeah, I don't like going back to heal whenever we do Nugget Bridge. So I usually have six potions by then. Six pick up a bull potions. Okay. Yeah. I oftentimes just don't talk to that guy just because I pick up a ton of potions and I don't seem to use them quickly enough. Yeah. I have like an unspoken rule where I try and use the potions by the time I get to surge. Okay. I'm, uh, yeah, it's nice to use them up. I, I think before the department store, that's always my kind of unspoken rule. Is like, I don't want them in my bag after the department store because then I'm going to have a lot of time, like, where it's just like, you don't have space. Uh, waste so much time. Yeah. I try and use them up before Vermilion because that's where I like to sell my nugget. Okay. Oh, you sell the nugget in Vermilion. Interesting. Yeah. It's an old uh, speed running habit. Cool. Because that's sell where. Nugget in Vermilion. Because hmm. that's where runs would buy repels. Right. Same. Okay, so what level do we think for Brock? Um, I'm not I, even going to make an attempt until 10. Yeah. I might wait till, I don't know, maybe 13. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll it, try a 10, we'll see. Another thing to mention to everyone who's watching is the fact that my Brock, both of his Pokemon are two levels lower for me, and it's he's two levels higher for you. Level 12 Geodude, level 14 Onyx, whereas mine's level 10 Geodude, 12 Onyx. Yeah. I understand Something the level difference usually makes a big deal, but I noticed the, the defense curl is the bigger kicker. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Defense curl is really annoying in red and blue because the Geodude can take much longer to knock out with normal moves. Something uh, unfortunate happened. I was uh -oh. poisoned in the overworld. I was huh. a few steps away from the center, but I died. I hadn't caught any Pokemon, so I'm all the way back at Pewter. Oh, that hurts. Yeah. With less money. And luckily, I did my shopping first. D do you mean Pallet or Pewter? Pallet. Pallet, I went okay. back to Pallet. Yeah. yeah, I was like, I'm not even in... I'm not even in Pewter City yet. I was going up there just to heal... That's one thing you won't have to deal with, because I'm not sh I don't think Weedles spawn in yellow. Weedle do not spawn in yellow. There are no Weedles in this game. I remember being very sad about that as a kid. I love Beedrill. It's such a cool mm. Pokemon. I feel like it's I like a thought... really, really rare encounter in red-blue. Weedle? Weedle? Isn't it pretty well, common? Two are rare. I thought the... I thought the Caterpies are more common. I know between red and blue, there was either more common Caterpies or Weedles. I think red version mm. is Weedle. Mm. Right. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure either. I just know in red and blue I get poisoned all the time and it's really frustrating. Plus the Pokemon are lower levels in the forest, which means training for Brock takes longer and he's, lo he's higher levels, which is very annoying. Yeah. Ooh, I've always wondered, the what level is the Pidgeotto in Level yellow? 9. Level 9. Nice. Terrifying. <laughs> when it shows up <laughs> and you're not ready for it, it just like sand attacks you and then gusts you to death. Sometimes you can't escape because you don't have enough speed. What, what Pokemon? Was... I figured it was most of the time. There was, a pro there was a Pokemon that really struggled because of that, and I was terrified to go into the grass. Is it like Muck or Weezing? I forget which one it was figure it'd be something weak to flying yeah but gust is not a flying move in these games oh right i forgot it's always terrifying when i go into the pokemon mansion uh while i'm paralyzed because there's always that chance if you're a little under leveled that you run into like a muck or a wheezing and the wheezing <laughs> i think you generally yes. know self-destruct yes in yellow version it's radicate and it it has hyper fang and super fang and then it, it's like fast enough to trap really slow Pokemon and knock them out. Like Parasect. All right. Oh, I got the Pidgeotto. Have you ever had a run where Pidgeotto was your flyer? Yes. Uh, Kangaskhan run. And I, it was for Mother's Day. And I nicknamed the Pidgeotto Mama Bird. 
Oh, that's that's awesome. It was very fitting. <clears throat> okay, who is has anyone fought Brock yet? No. I attempt I attempted him at level eleven. Uh I never got past the Geo dude. Okay. So Oh gosh. Okay, I'm trying him at level thirteen. That might be a better level. Oof. Boy, got... that XP is certainly different. I have not even attempted him yet, and I'm only 11. Yeah. Like, I think my early game is going to be significantly faster. Yeah, because the forest is way better training. Yeah. Fire and, like, and counter rate, too. Rayquaza might just have, like, enough ease with the rest of the game that there's no way for both of you to catch up. Yeah, I just beat Brock. Um, Dang. I think I don't think you'll need higher than 13, though. I had more than half health left over after defeating him. Hmm. We'll see about Although that. Def Defense curl is a, a huge problem for us, though. Yeah. I did crit the Geodude twice as well, which was nice. Lucky you. Uh, I never I, got a crit. At least I think it's twice. My chat's probably going to correct me. They'll be like, actually, you crit it five times or something. Oops. Hopefully. Hopefully I got it right. Also, for anyone who's wondering when my produced videos are coming back, when they're ready... Uh, I, over the weekend, I had a catastrophic data loss on my computer, and I lost all of my files. And I had to spend two days, um, recovering all of the data. So I have it all back now, but I, there was a little bit of a setback in production. Jeez, did you have to, like, hire, like, an outside company, or were you uh, able to figure out how to do that? Luckily, no. Uh, data recovery is really expensive if you do it through a company. I used to work at Best Buy, and when we'd quote people data recovery services, like, everyone was always just like, okay, I guess I don't have my files anymore. Right? <laughs> it was like, it was like $1,600 for, like, the comprehensive option, and there was no guarantee that the files would be recovered. But, yeah, I, I'm lucky. I keep, like... Uh, all my files that I use to work on the videos, I keep in the cloud, and I also back them up on a like a um, network attached External storage. No, it's like a NAS. It's like a network attached storage. So it's mm -hmm. like um, it's kind of like a server with a bunch of hard drives that sits in your house, and you back up onto that. Oh yeah. But it it was just like the I was like. 600 or 700 gigabytes of stuff so getting it all back onto the computer and downloading it took forever it must have yeah yeah all right level 13 nice in in the second run i'm gonna need to fight the optional rival oh. i decided to do route 2 training it took forever yeah i i fought the uh i fought the rival 1a so i'm gonna fight jolteon in this one yeah I figured it'd be too much time to backtrack, oh so I just stuck to the grass. Okay, I'm getting, like, encounters every two steps in Mount Moon. This is brutal. Now I you know what we have to go through. Oh, I lost Brock. Oh, <laughs> was it level 13? Oh, yeah, 13. Oh, uh, no. He had about one quarter HP. Unfortunately, he just nailed too many tackles with, with uh, all the screeches set up. Oh, that sucks. All right, I just beat him on my first try at 13. Nice. That is unfortunate. <laughs> the the one disadvantage of the instant text it's hard to see if the if the onyx used bide oh yeah it's so fast it. yeah uh, another one yeah. like that that's really tricky is uh waking up from sleep because it scrolls by so quickly yeah. Yeah. i always have problems with that i have to really 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 remember to spam b during yeah. during sleep especially when i'm using rest spamming it like a noob Mm. That second Brock attempt was even worse than the first. Oh no! Does that happen? Uh, he just continuously, continuously used tackle over and over again. Oh. For anyone who has questions about the move pool, rewind to the beginning of the stream, please. We went through all of it. And uh, Soul, yeah, please, please take care of that in my chat, please. Every time someone asks, back to the beginning of the stream. Yeah. Hey Steve, you don't hear too much in the background on my end, do you? I hear I hear a little bit. Oh, I don't okay. know about I Steve. Can, I can uh I, fix that. Yeah.
I don't know if this is a good idea. You think facing Misty before the rival and Nugget Bridge is a good idea? I got brought down to like a tiny sliver. Hopefully I, that I have not it. gotten. A Did crit he get you again? Up. Yeah. No. I don't know if you guys landed a crit at any point, but I have not. I think uh. I crit the Geo dude three times. <laughs> I've never oh, done that that's either. That's great. At best, I've done two. Oh my gosh. Hey, I'm just saying, at least this stream, I'm not the one having a bad time for once. Yeah, last time, last time, the second run, I uh, was triggered. Yeah, I hate to think about that <laughs> run. Oh. I don't know how you guys did it at 13, man. I just got crushed again. No. <laughs> it's like halfway. I didn't even get past the halfway mark. Maybe speed got really lucky. I don't know. I, I don't think I needed to get that lucky just because it's yellow version. I had 10 HP. Okay, I had 30 HP left over. Like, it, it felt very dominant, and I just spammed Gus the entire time. I think the Onyx used by like, five or six oh, times. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Am I just supposed to spam Gus and just take it? Uh, you could. When I did the one turn of Gus, it dealt back four damage and bide. But uh, I would try and string shot and divide. Also, okay, I only won because in the third turn... Of bide, I got a crit. Nice. I finished him off. I was not going to win otherwise. Good job, man. Also, the uh, I messed up and didn't learn Dragon Rage. <laughs> Someone's like, "Why didn't you learn Dragon Rage?" He's like, I messed up. I didn't see it. I pressed all the wrong buttons. That's actually you, funny. You uh, had too many moves. Yeah, I had four, four moves. Hmm. Maybe I should try Rival Two first. What starter does he have in Red and Blue? Uh... I don't remember what I replaced. Squirtle. Yeah, yeah, Squirtle. Squirtle? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, I, I figured of all of them, the one that would be most likely to know an ice move was Squirtle, but, like, obviously it doesn't know an ice move, but, like, theoretically, it, it would be the most likely to oh, know an ice move. It does know an ice move when you get to the champion. Does it? Yeah, Blizzard. It, it gets Blizzard. It's it one gets of the Blizzard. very Pokemon where they alter the moveset. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, with Charizard, it gives it Fire Blast, and Venusaur gets a uh, Solar Beam. I was facing that one today. Red and blue Venusaur? Yeah. I, oh. I played two runs, red runs today. I do play red and blue. People think that I don't play red and blue. I do. All I remember is that one Gyarados and Kangaskhan run. Yeah. I did Gyarados, Kangaskhan, um, and Gengar. I think those are the three that yeah. I've done in red in recent days. Besides the uh, the ancient stuff. Yeah, there's some ancient red runs, but we don't talk about those. Someone, no. had, someone in my chat the other day uh, said that they did more runs than you, and I'm like, that's just not possible. This <laughs> one time, I had a question for Scott <sighs> about what my moveset should be for going with Kangaskhan, and Scott's like, yeah, I just did a whole entire playthrough. You should definitely do this and i'm like what do you mean you did a whole playthrough uh, you, you know i had 50 minutes to spare i remember <laughs> i was sitting on the couch with my wife and and i remember you like typing the message about kangaskhan and i was like i'm gonna go do a kangaskhan run and i just like ran upstairs and did one. Oh man uh, i was so curious i couldn't let the curiosity get me also why does he get earthquake and not dig can we talk about that uh, cause in Gen three, it does not learn dig. Oh, okay. Don't you think his tiny but little think... arms, his tiny little arms, could do it? I think they could. Look at that. He could with his little like claws. I think he could make it happen. Yeah, we try well, and do the one for one replacement, <laughs> but if our one for one replacement is a move it doesn't get, yeah. like dig, then I we didn't give it to it. I think I think Rayquaza normally gets earthquake. I think that's what we were. Yeah, I'm there sure it does. Amazing. There's another Pokemon we made a move set for in the back port, and we gave it both Dig and uh, Earthquake, despite it not getting Dig in Gen 3, because it got, like, two Earth moves that are mm. both, like, 90 and 100 power. Yeah. I don't remember what the 90 move was. Yeah. I, uh... I just hate the fact that Nido King does not get Dig. Why do the Nidos that not always, get dig in Generation 1? That always irritates us to this yeah. day. Steve still asks, does this thing learn dig? Yeah. So weird. Such a strange choice. 
Uh, yeah. Oh, Doesn't what? make sense. Imagine a stab Nido King dig. Yeah, like on like Route 6. So satisfying. I don't even know if I'm mad or not. I didn't find a Paris, so now I have to go look for the Sand Shrew. But I'm just happy to be done that, with Brock. That, I was noticing I, that today in my yellow runs, and I did two yellow runs and two red runs, and uh, I noticed the difference between them was like, it's a surprising amount of time that you lose catching HM users in red when compared with yeah. yellow. Like, you lose almost a minute or a minute and a half early on in the game. Just yeah, catching absolutely. them. I got really unlucky. Oddish broke out of like seven Pokeballs, which is just awful. I actually just now realized I haven't caught a single HM user. My speed. My speed is one lower than Surge's Raichu. Kidding me? God, you're talking about Surge. And I'm just now facing the traitor in their gym. Misty's gym. Oh no. <laughs> We're at slightly different places. Dang, the one disadvantage of starting with OP moves, you knock out everything. Yeah, this would be a totally different run uh, with Dragon Rage, because all of us would just one-shot both of Brock's Pokemon. Oh yeah, the, the oh. we would just destroy him. Oh! Oh my gosh, that was the closest surge fight I've ever had. Not actually, but like six HP. On Bellsprout. He crit there me with go. Mega Kick. Finally caught I've the Bellsprout. I've had some pretty close to calls with surge. Sometimes I get down to like six HP <laughs> and hand paralysis. And yeah. then like he just decides, hey, you know, I could beat you, but I'm going to use an X speed. Yes, or a growl. I love the growl last turn. It's like, yeah, good job, buddy. It Although he, he doesn't, a... I don't think he has Growl in Red and Blue. Not sure. No. I, I just so. beat uh, Sandy with like two HP left with nice. one Sand attack, and I landed a Rock Throw. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use Blizzard over Ice Beam. What do you guys think? I almost never use Blizzard over Ice Beam. I almost always use Blizzard over Ice Beam. Mm, interesting. I think Rayquaza, I think 150 base special is enough to just go with Ice Beam for the rest of the game. I think so. Makes sense. Uh... I just like don't like the drop in accuracy. Like, because if you're one hitting, it doesn't matter. You'd, it's better to just use the one with higher accuracy. Yeah, that's what I think. But if you're not one hitting, then it then it is a choice. Okay. Oh gosh. I'm not playing very well. I think I'm tired. I did, uh, on Monday, I did three Emerald playthroughs, which is the most Emerald I have played in one day ever. That was exhausting. I can't do that many runs I'm, in one day. Yeah, it's a long I'd game. I did, I did three Emerald up. runs, and then I did like three or four yellow runs at night, but it was, uh, it was a lot. I was just happy to have all my files back. Oh well, yeah, I'm I'm I'll bet. I I remember uh uh I think this was five years ago maybe. I uh had a laptop. Okay. And uh it was like an old refurbished laptop from like a decade prior. And uh I was I finally got my own like USB stick that was a decent size. I decided to back up a lot of things, and mm -hmm. then two weeks later, that laptop broke. Uh, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe I predicted this. At least you backed it up. I know. So I did like quite a bit of optional training in Mount Moon, and now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know if that was like really necessary. I think I just wasted a bunch of time. Like trainer I training? Yeah, I fought like a bunch of optional trainers. I was just like worried about Misty and like being really slow fight with Bide yeah. or Gust and then Harden next defend. Because she doesn't have Harden in, in your games, I don't think, on the Star Me. But it's really annoying mm -hmm. when I, it like sets up like six Hardens and you just like can't do any damage to it. Yeah. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Star it does have Water Gun, Bubble Beam. Yeah. Yeah. And Tackle. Yep. Oh, so do you use OneDrive? No, I do not use OneDrive. 
I hate OneDrive. Uh, my computer, hate... every time I would use OneDrive, my computer would just get really slow. I hate when when my work computer just decides, hey, you know, you're saving to OneDrive. I know you tried to save to a folder, but OneDrive's good. You should use it. <laughs> yeah, Microsoft's like, actually, everything just saves to OneDrive unless you click like eight other buttons. Yeah. Could you please not do that? <laughs> so annoying. Yes, please. It's one of the main things I'm struggling with uh, when I switch to Windows 11 with my new PC. Like, it keeps trying to move things over there. I think I finally have disabled it. Okay, who who hates the girl in the Celadon department store who, like, walks in front of you when you're trying to go up the stairs? She is All the worst. The oh. All the above. She got me earlier today, too, for, like, so long. It's one of the most painful things. Actually, I remember... During the red and blue randomizers, there'd be another instance like that where we would go talk to the old lady in that one building. She would give you the T item because the randomizer added a T to make Saffron City harder to get to. Uh, the Pokemon can just move around and block the doorway. <laughs> uh... it's like the same building you go in Gen 2 to get Curse, but the first floor. Yeah. I wonder... Wait, oh, do we have to, like, be saving? I, f I feel like it's this thing is so good that I don't need to be saving. It's I've only saved in front of the main trainers. Yeah. It's best to not let that mentality get to you. Whenever I know. there's a fight you think is free, you get a 1% chance and you die. Yeah, you're like a wa rock water type, and you're like, it's plain, and then you don't save, and then he's like, actually. <laughs> I will fire spin you forever. Yeah. Or you go into a what? fight that's supposed to be free, but then you get the Gen 1 miss. Or you just barely don't knock the ghastly out? Like, what just happened to me? Ridiculous. You talk about ghastly. I just knocked out Surge. He got a critical hit Thunderbolt, and it didn't even do half. Oh my gosh. I'm uh, playing this quite bad, actually. I did SSN before Misty just because I forgot to fight her. Yeah. A uh, produced video when it's done. There was a setback this weekend. I lost like three days of time production because I lost all my files. The produced video was supposed to come out a little while ago, but nope. I don't think I need that. Do we think meditate and stuff is useful? Like, I said no. I'm actually planning on keeping meditate for the first okay. run. And then when I... you guys decide not to keep meditate, and then you find a struggling point, and then mm. then I'll come come out victorious like the last time. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm thinking of sticking with meditate. Okay. Not agility though. Yeah, agility is generally has less u less uses. Unless paralysis is a problem, then agility can be can get you out of some yeah. sticky situations. Yeah, I would agree. I can't stand agility. It's just good at like overriding paralysis's speed debuff. I mean, I yeah. just did oh, what Pidgeot I do? and no. agility was so useless. <laughs> I didn't even use it on my final move set. Oops. Fast tech speed is hard, guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, remember uh, Blizzard? I guess I'm using Blizzard. Oh, well, that's you over ice beam. <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought agility over uh, ice beam. Ouch. It's okay, I don't need it. Rayquaza is good enough. Okay. When's the next move I learned? 35. I gotta watch out for that. Oh, do you keep open uh, the move set on another monitor like I do? No, no, the move set's on my overlay. Right, right. The whole one. It right. just always stays there when I'm out of battle, so I can check it. I just studied the move set during my starting soon screen. I'm studying but it then now. During the run, I might forget it. Uh, I feel like I played pretty well in the early game and then just dropped the ball completely in the mid game. Interesting. I might be the, I have... op I might be the opposite. 
if it weren't for Brock being so annoying, I feel like I've been playing perfectly. Yeah. Okay. Blizzard's expected value is higher. Yeah, but like accuracy, like missing is just painful. I keep trying to tell speed. Blizzard's one of the most accurate moves I've ever used. No. <laughs> don't, don't listen. But I use God. it, it is. Scott, don't they, listen they to him. Thank you. Us. You have my best interests at heart, I know. Scott, no, don't listen. No, I'm not listen. even trying to be tricky. Like, it, it just never misses when I use it. <laughs> okay. Sc yeah, Scott, don't listen to him. He is the guy that will say slam is a good move. Yeah, miss like five times on Lance. That's what's going to okay. happen. We were messing with speed. <laughs> no, oh, Scott, slam is one of the worst got, moves. I got, was it eight out of nine accuracy on slam? What? Eight out of nine. That's pretty counting. good. I know. We were, we were like... You know, rubbing it in speed space the whole entire stream. It was seven for seven at one point. Oh my god! And I told and I told Steve he was purposefully not using it to keep the accuracy ratio high. All right, so like I know like Blizzard is not very accurate, but like you know what move is really good? Hypnosis. What? I've lost mm. so many randomizers <laughs> to hypnosis. I can't tell you how much I hate that move. <laughs> well, I think my chat's gonna revolt. I remember there was one randomizer. Uh, Steve ended up uh, winning because uh, he decided to get, he decided to keep supersonic the whole game, and it actually helped him at one of the league. Oh members. my gosh! Yeah, I don't remember what it was. I make these calls all the time. These stupid, stupid calls that sometimes pay off and sometimes don't. Uh... It is how it works. Oh, someone said Iron Tail. Also, yes, David, I'm reading your, your messages. It's hard for me to respond to everyone right now. I'm trying to talk to people at the same time as playing and also reading chat. It's a lot. That's why I accidentally learned agility. <laughs> uh. Austin says he loves Mega Kick. Oh, he yeah. He when he figured out that Mega Kick was useful against Lance with the Charmander line, I remember that was like felt really good. I tried that when I redid my Charizard yeah. run in red and blue. Uh, it saves like five levels. It's It can be good, but I, I still think that the Body Slam strat is better. I think that's what like Austin and I eventually figured out. was like It's like the Body Slam strategy ends up being slightly more consistent. I forget what it what the actual like math that, was on it. Go watch my Charmander think, video. But I think Mega Kick would actually I think Mega Kick would still be better assuming you get the one try hit. Yeah, I think it's like it's better if it if it does what it's supposed to do, but like you can still lose and we like crunch the numbers and I'm pretty sure that like statistically it's more reliable if you use body slam. And it also saves time in terms of like teaching the move, which is like you don't have to teach Mega Kick if you don't have to. At least the TM is uh quite close to your main path. That's true. Uh, wait, like you mean like picking it up in the department store or? Uh, no, you can actually pick it up in Victory Road by the last boulder. Oh, is it by the last boulder? Oh, it's yeah, up, the up at the top, boulder. like by the fighting guy? Yeah, it's by the okay. macho guy. That's cool. I didn't know it was there. I always just bought it in the department store. I always knew it was there first. Surprisingly enough, there were a bunch of TMs that Steve didn't know you could buy there. He didn't know you could buy Born Drill in the store, and I ended up beating him in one run because he kept trying to look for it. <laughs> horn drill? Wait, wait, yeah, what run needed horn drill? Please tell me. Rapidash. Might have been rapid. Rapidash for, for Lance? Yes. That's or, hilarious. I don't know, it was a randomizer. Honestly, it was, a randomizer. it was more than just him. Oh, it was that's a so funny. Like, Lorelei could have had two Gyaradoses. I was actually considering mimicking horn drill earlier today. Oh. I mean, I remember it was in... And man's ponyta run. He basically said, like on Lance's Gyarados, it was statistically more likely to land a horn drill than yeah. like 15 fire. Spins. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely in that case. Yeah, that was yeah. the reason we used it. Uh -huh. oh, this fa this text is so fast. Like you go into the Pokemon Center to heal, and it's like that's the only time that your brain gets a small break. Also, that's why I'm not as good at reading chat today, so I apologize. Because I'm Canadian. 
It's contractually required. Is it part of the national oath? You it, must it always is. apologize. You must apologize, yeah, even when not necessary. Yeah. Uh, you know, I feel like it might be regional because I go to Canada literally every single year, but it's the Niagara Falls. Okay. Which is like partially New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like over by Toronto. That's very far from where I am. Yeah, I'm very far from that. We also visited Tim Hortons. Yeah, the national Just anthem is like. Oh, Canada, I promise to apologize. It's the first lyrics in it. Okay, why did I pick these ethers up? They're useless. They're just clogging my I inventory. Tim Hortons was essentially just Duncan. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the correct comparison. Hey, Steve, uh, does oh. Rayquaza learn Psychic? I don't think uh, so. Is it like 29-ish? No. Yeah. No, I don't no. think it learns. Oh, come on. Well, I beat Koga because I tanked to self-destruct. That's how to do it. That's the best way. Tank those self destructs. Out, I literally entered his gym and I immediately left because I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get Earthquake. It's like, actually, no. Yeah. I I fought Koga with Fly like a while ago. Oh, you taught Fly. I taught Fly, yeah. Man, we're using completely different strats. Oh, I know. This I is interesting. Yeah. I guess Steve's using Earthquake. I'm not. Yeah, well, I have Earthquake now. Earthquake. I don't actually know what move I'm going to teach it over. I think it has to be Body Slam. Wait, we can learn Body Slam? We can, yeah. Did you not get I Body never... Slam? No. That's painful. I, I'm bad at remembering moves. Body Slam is basically Return, remember? Yeah, I know. It's the Gen 1 Return. Right, and basically all Gen 3 Pokemon learn Return, so it's like... Oh, hey, you know, is that you... why you gave it? See, yeah. yeah. I always like thought Gen One Return was Double Edge. Uh, we we don't use it like Return. Hmm. I don't know. That's just I mean, what to we be fair, said. There was it was a difficult decision like Secret Power versus uh, a Hidden Power too. Mm. Yeah. Se secret Power facade. is Secret Power seems like it would be such an interesting move when you like read the description of it, and then it ends up in these runs just being a normal type move with a 30% chance to paralyze. It's really disappointing. Yeah, I understand that. I think we made Secret Power Metronome? I think so, yeah. <laughs> this thing is a beast. Just... Oh, dang. My I'm having purpose to... coming in here was to get Earthquake, and now I just beat Rival 5, so you know... These are not the plans that I had, but they're the plans I came in came I, into. I do think Rival 5 is slightly harder in red and blue. Pidgeot? It's uh not so much the Pidgeot, more the Alakazam. Um because yeah. the Kadabra and Yellow version is not that good. And then the starter is also better than the Flareon, Jolteon, or Vaporeon. Like those those yeah. the final evolutions are not actually that good in that fight. Yeah, and Garrod yeah, Gyarados over Cloyster. Yeah, Gyarados is always threatening. Unless you have Thunderbolt. Tyler, I have no idea if I got your email. Uh, I'll get back to it if I get back. Like, I try to respond to all the emails. I'm just like two months behind, so I'll, I'll eventually get there. I'm doing my best. Like right now, the the uh, the priorities are doing streams like this, which we planned a while ago, and we had to delay twice, uh, and then uh, catching up on content production so that we can get some videos back on the channel very yeah. soon. I finally finished that uh, Pokemon Yellow Race commu Rando community video. I yeah. finally finished it today, and I feel Good so job. relieved. Yeah, those. Uh, yeah. Those, those kind of videos, like the community videos, they take so long to make. I know. It is ridiculous. And oh. the race and the race ended September 2nd, too. Oh. Of last I know, it's like, uh, oh, so it was more than a year. Or was, or no, it's September, uh, it's no, not quite a year. Like yeah, yeah. Five months. Okay. Oh. 
I can't believe I lived that. I lived Who was it? Giovanni's Rhydon's Rock Slide on 8 health. Rhydon? Yeah, oh, yeah on. Really, I really messed up this run. I'll improve no, the you, second it one. was just so, so far ahead. And I just got a huge Brock lead at Brock. Strong. Like, it's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. I thought we would catch up because when you were complaining about Mount Moon encounters, I just finished Brock. So I'm like, ooh, I'm only a few minutes behind. But you could have mm -hmm. been near the end of Mount Moon. I think, yeah, I think it was in, like, Cerulean City when you guys were beating Brock. Hmm, Maybe. Well, that could have been annoying. Oh. Alakazam lived on, like, 1 HP. <laughs> that Ice Beam would have been good for a on. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Instead of Agility. Agility was really helpful so far. Yeah. Also, uh, the Nidos used Thunder on me, and it was one of the most underwhelming hits from my, that I've ever seen from Thunder. It did, like, maybe an eighth. Well, it's like neutral, isn't it? Because it's weak yeah, it's, flying. Yeah, it's neutral, but it's also thunder. It's just like, okay. Yeah. Like the ridiculous special stat we have. I'm thinking maybe for the next run, I think I should just get Earthquake as early as I can and get rid of Bubble Beam. Because not having a physical move is definitely hurting me. Hmm. Yeah, I wasn't sure how to manage that. Like, at first I thought I was going to go all special, but then I messed up my moveset a lot. And now I'm not all special. I'm actually too physical one special now. Yeah, at least at least all of us are playing bad. So, like, I feel better about myself. I don't know. I still feel like I'm not playing bad at all. It was just a terrible, terrible problem. Yeah, you, I think you got, maybe you got unlucky at Brock, like... I don't know, because I lost I, at half HP a lot, and I needed hmm. luck to win. Yeah. I mean, you guys were fighting through um, Bide, and quite frankly, that's what I did on my winning attempt, was fight through Bide instead of waiting out the Bides. I don't think he used Bide once. Because ended up doing more damage than what Bide was going to do. I don't yeah. think he used Bide once on me. I'm going to teach Earthquake now. I uh, got to be careful. Okay, good. Yeah, Meditate is a good setup move. Mm. It's no Swords Dance, but it's something. Yeah, Meditate would have been better than Agility. Yeah, I, did, I didn't want either, honestly, but... Oh! Rival six. A uh, Lorelei. How bad is she? Uh she one hit me with the dugong. I don't see Aurora that. beam. Oh crap. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I knew from the start Lorelei was gonna be the only major threat. That's why I kept meditate, because I think meditate earthquake is gonna is gonna do a lot. Artemy is thinking of doing Giovanni's trainers. Hmm, yeah. Because I feel like on Lorelei's, you one-shot or get one-shot. I think it is, yeah, you one-shot or get one-shot. Okay, I beat her. Uh, huh. That was very Did you ever survive sketchy. a hit? Uh, yeah, I, she crit me the first time, I'm pretty sure. Like, the second one didn't do as much, and then she used rest, and then I could just set up with agility and sweep her. Oh. Hmm. It wasn't that bad, actually. It was, like, it, immediately it? scary, though. Because I had no resets up until this point, and then just, like, I got one shot by the, the dugong. Okay. So this is something that I should probably consider bringing up to Scott, because I just realized that this is a thing that can be done, because I've seen it be done. In the randomizer, when you randomize it, it makes the speed of the moving, like, spinning thing, the spinner thing, it moves faster. What spinner? That must the spinner in Giovanni and Rocket Hideout. Oh, the like the yeah 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 okay. Yeah, I don't have that kind of tech. Oh, I just figured maybe it's something that could be found. Oh yeah, we can definitely like change the speed of that. That's not going to be a problem. 
Maybe it could be something you mm. find in the disassembly. Maybe there's like a separate walking speed for those things. No, I'm sure there is. I'm sure there's just like a like a variable that sets like how many like how many seconds or whatever it takes to. But sometimes you just don't know what you want until you've just seen it, and I've seen yeah. that it can be faster. I know th th those spinning tiles are so slow. It's well, painful. I'm so used to the randomizers where I just actually just walk through them. Okay. Oh. I accidentally used Ice Beam on Blastoise and I got a freeze. Don't miss. I think we're at the same spot speed. I'm just now entering Victory Road. You just beat Rival 6 or did you just enter the cave? I just entered the cave. Ah. I just had to ask because I know you call the, the water area, you call <sighs> that Victory Road too. It is. I think that, isn't that Route 23? That's in the yes. plot, though. Yeah, I know it's called Route 23, oh. but I know Steve just, he sometimes calls it Indigo Plateau, or he just calls it Victory Road outside. Are I you hate... telling me the, the area with all the statues is the Indigo Plateau? I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Champions I'm... Jolteon. I am still getting encounters in Victory Road. Okay, I, I beat the champion. 42-32. Yeah, that that Brock definitely puts you in the <sighs> yeah. by a mark. Huge, huge lead up, Brock. Also, this thing is I just am... so good at one hits everything. I'm getting so many encounters in Victory Road. So many. I think in the next run, we should just use all our rare candies before Rival 6. Oh, I'm definitely doing it, but at this point, I just need two more wild encounters to get one more level. Yeah. Knowing my luck, I'll, I'll get one, but not two. I used uh, I used my rare candies before Koga. All of them, huh? I used like six before Koga, and then the rest before Lorelei. Hmm. Thanks for the compliments on the sprite. It was fun. Yeah, to it, make is this a, one. it is a great looking sprite. I think it, it's like Although based it off of Gen 4s, I'm pretty sure. The, it is kind of funny, because the white around its mouth kind of makes it look like lipstick. <laughs> yeah, you cannot see it. No, to be can. fair, when you look at the actual art for Rayquaza, it does look like it has lipstick lipstick on. I know on. that's that's what makes it funny. I know. You uh, can only do so much with Gen One sprites. Yeah. Um. Okay, everyone. I'm just gonna give a reminder here. Everyone, go and watch Speedrunner and Steve's uh, <gasps> streams as well, so you can see what they're doing. I'm gonna just step away for a second. Um. I have a new foster cat right now, and it, it is trapped in my office, and it just used the litter box, so I need to go clean that up. So yeah, I'll be right back. Well, Steve, I'm... <gasps> I accidentally two. deleted Earthquake. Two HP! Two! I just crit the Dugon. <laughs> the Lapras survived on two HP! Really? Let me try. Two! Okay. I just crit it. <laughs> oh, you're going to win because that that's literally going to be the difference in this run. Are you sure it wasn't Brock? Yes, because I was ahead of you and I just lost. Now I have to redo Lorelei. The rest of the league is probably not going to be a problem. Yeah, I knocked her out on the next one. I just did set up one meditate. Hmm. I accidentally okay. taught fly over Earthquake. That could be a problem, but to be fair, the... the Pokemon that you wanted to use Earthquake on is done. Yeah. The Onyxes or the Gengars. Actually, the Gengars oh, would be nice. The Gengars. Earthquake. I forgot about them entirely. I, I mostly just thought all the way up to Lorelei, and I'm like, the rest of the run is easy. Yeah, I'm at level 54. Her Haunter is not even a two shot with Thunderbolt. So, One yeah. shot with Earthquake. Yeah, lucky you. I, uh, did that mistake. Are you telling me that just being not playing poorly is, is what's going to get me second? Probably. Did you beat Agatha? Uh, I'm going to beat her this attempt. I'm just using Fly on her ghost instead. I missed two flies in a row. You know, after doing a Pidgeot run, I can definitely tell you that that happens. 
Yeah. Okay, I'm back. What what happened while I was away? Steve lived on too much. Gonna cause him to do speed taught over earthquake, and now he's having Agatha problems. Oh no! I won on the second try. I had to beat okay, that's good. That's good. Luckily. On my on my Lorelei, the Lapras survived at two HP and then knocked me out with Blizzard. Dang. All right, Lance was easy. You know, I don't think I've used Meditate a single time. No, no, no. Executor, do not put... Executor has put me to sleep. This is this is giving speed an opening. Yes, give me the opening. I, I, I'm i still asleep. It is going to be a full maximum sleep. All right. Fly one-shots the Alakazam. Nope, I'm dead. I lost uh, to the Blastoise. Blizzard. I just didn't have enough HP to survive Blizzard, unfortunately. I don't know if you can even survive a Blizzard at all. And now I'm asleep. Oh, good. So you're saying you've left me an opening? Technically, it canceled each other out. Well, mine was like the max sleep. And I'm dead. Okay. Great. I now... don't even think Blizzard would have one-shot that oh, Executor. Oh my god, I froze Executor. That's <laughs> cheating. You're a cheater. Oh my god, Rayquaza! I just got frozen by the one blizzard that the Blastoise is allowed oh, to use. Oh no. <laughs> I'm trying to lose. I'm blowing this. I don't think that was your fault, though. <laughs> was it, though? I mean, I deserved it. It I always feels... Executor. I deserved it. It always feels truly bad. 47-52. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I played this run pretty... I... Then I got a crit on the next next one with the Executor. Watch me get yeah. frozen again. Oh, ne okay. never mind. I found a new way to lose, guys. Uh, I got crit on the Blizzard. But you do live a single Blizzard. <laughs> not if it's a crit. I guess not if it's a crit, but if it is regular hit, you do live. Yes. Yeah. That's good to know. It, it does yeah. about three quarters. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, Steve, I don't know if you did a poll for an over-under or an in-between. I set it for 40 to 45 minutes, and uh, yeah, I was over that. But surprisingly, it was pretty close. I just forgot entirely. Okay, 48, 47. That was, like, I don't really feel like I did anything wrong, for, but it, to the champion took three resets. Yeah. I don't know, maybe you just got like unlucky with the champion, something like that. Well, I mean, Blizzard oh, yeah, Crit absolutely. reminded me of Bell Sprout. I I got PTSD of the Bell Sprout run, where Rival Six, all the Charizard had to do was not crit, and it crit three runs in a row, or three three like attempts in a row, and it takes forever because of the growth setups. Yeah. All right. At least I had no overlay problems th th this That's time. That's good. That's good. I also had yeah. no tech problems other than forgetting to record the replay. But yeah. no actual yes. computer problems. Only brain problems. Well, uh. whenever I do like a run with a, a third person, my brain just uh, wanders. Yeah. Three ways are overwhelming. Oh, yeah. I mean, especially if it's with uh, the almighty Scott. Uh. Okay, are we are we doing another one now? Are we? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Next, play through number two. Okay. I'm just setting the poll right now. Yeah, I gotta. Yeah, Steve and I are gonna try and do two blue runs just because these are gonna be real quick runs. Yeah, like it's like 42 minutes. It feels like I didn't even play the game. I'm not tired. The champion yeah. didn't make me suffer. I'm not used to that. It's yellow version. Like, I'm I'm used to like dying over and over to the Alakazam or the uh, Sand Slash because it just keeps critting. Uh, yeah. Oh, I gotta turn yeah. Off. Yellow Champion is a is a nightmare. Yeah. It's, he's Everyone's so good. Everyone's hard in their own way. Sometimes I feel like the easiest Pokemon to deal with is the Executor. Yeah, sometimes it is with like Water types and stuff. We're just spams. Um. Leech Seed. Yeah. Also, Steve. But still, I have a bad history with Leech Seed. 
Oh, yeah. It gets really bad then when the cloister uses like clamp and it just yes. stacks up. Oh, so bad. I've had that. I've had that happen in my polyrath runs many times. <sighs> yeah. All right. So just let me know when you two are ready. I'm uh, ready. I'm ready. Okay. Let's do this again. Run, run number two. Three, two, one, go. Well, Steve, I named the rival A today. Wow. Single character nickname. Yeah. Pure, really pure efficiency. Yeah, it doesn't actually help. That's uh, why I didn't nickname my Rayquaza last time is because uh, it doesn't actually speed things up because we have instant text speed. <laughs> I yeah. the worst Oak encounter. I didn't pick up the Pokemon. <laughs> then I walked to the battle. Oh, no. <laughs> you picked up the wrong starter. Have, no, wait. I just straight up held no because, you know, I usually hold no in order to not nickname it. Yeah. Uh, Have you ever um, walked to the Pokemon lab without going into the grass? Uh, I don't think no. I've done that in a long time. Okay, I, I did that once and we forgot to edit it around it in the final video. And then like Sean just put it in and then I didn't see it in review. And then we left it in and then like uh, someone commented just being like, wait, did, did Scott actually just walk to the lab? Like, yes, I did. <laughs> It's really embarrassing. I think uh, I think he left it in there on purpose. Yeah, Sean's probably like he's like gotta. I actually did tell him I'm like if I have mistakes, try and get them in the video. Like don't don't cut them out. Like that's that's what makes that's the spice of these videos. All the errors. Yeah, yeah it engages with the algorithm too. Mm hmm. Everyone can tell me how bad I am. Yeah. Also, Steve, you're overly looking like Pokemon cards. It's really cool. Thank you. We literally pulled up a Pokemon card and let, and I told Game Dev that. Just like do that. That's what we're doing. <laughs> no, no, no. I just like sent him a Pokemon card and I'm like that. That's so fun. <laughs> I don't care what you have to do. That. Yeah. He and Game Dev have been working on that overlay for months. Yeah. It does and look really we, cool. And then when we just finished, XML came out. We had to start over again. Oh, I apologize. That's bad timing. Oh, no, it's okay. I will say, though, I do appreciate the uh, uh, XML even more, especially with uh, the JavaScript. Yeah. It does help making map. I was, when I redid all of my overlays, 98% uh, of it was the same code, all because yeah. of the XML. Yeah, it's, it's really the, yeah. I didn't know a Especially. lot about programming when I first made the mappers, so there was a lot of inefficient in inefficient stuff that I did early on, which I apologize yeah, for. It caused a lot of pain for all of you. Um, no, it's okay. okay. When you buy a game, like I consider this like, let's say, alpha. When you buy a game in alpha, you don't expect everything <laughs> to work right. You expect yeah. everything to get overhauled. And, you know, we've just hit beta. Yeah, you know, that, was beta. Yes, that is how it feels. It kind of feels like Game Hook on YAML mappers was like uh, Gen One Pokemon, and like now we're in Gen Two Pokemon. We like started to figure things out, but not quite all the way to the modern combat system with EVs and stuff. Yeah, and then and then you get a game like Seven Days to Die, where it hasn't even technically been released yet, but it's been out for like eight or eight or nine years. Wow, that's uh, yeah, that's wild. I guess you gotta like uh, testing is good. Um, I just don't like. It sucks when the testing is turning the stream on and then going, "Oh my, my overlay doesn't work." I would prefer if that wasn't how we were testing things. We, we in game. Yeah, Shadow. If you, yeah, if you ever need help with an overlay, you can always come in my Discord. Yeah, Speed, you're getting pretty used to making them now. You've got, like, what? How many are of them? How many games oh, do you play overlays? on your channel? Uh, 11. Yeah, 11 games. I don't. I can't even imagine that. Technically now is 9, because uh, the Gen 5 mappers are kind of far from now. Like, there's yeah, yeah. one thing that's preventing us from finishing them, and it's really hard to figure out. Yeah, the party position yeah. thing. Unless I want to unless I wanna have an overlay with just game time and nothing else, which I don't want that. Yeah. 
so right now it's nine. I have done test streams with all the Gen 4 ones, and uh, they all seem to be working nice. Yeah, I watched most of those streams. They were good. Yeah, you were a you were. Quite I was lurk. Oh well, yeah, and I was lurking in one though, being quiet. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know you were watching until you messaged me saying, "Hey, I watched your stream." Yeah. And I'm like, really? Okay, where's that? When you get somebody that comments, be like, "Yeah, I love your content," and then I then I've never ever seen them before. Yeah. 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 Anyone who's lurking, I just had a... speak up. <laughs> yeah. We want to know you're a... there. I just had one guy comment on a lot of my past uh, randomizers the last couple of days, just w catching up on all of them. And apparently, mm. he's told me that uh, he's been a long time viewer, but just never comments. Yeah. And then uh, when he showed up to a live stream, he was already a YouTube member and he gifted three memberships. Aw, that's sweet. Yeah. I I remember telling him. I think. I think you should probably stop because my everyone's gonna think I set my chat to members only. Oh yeah, there was a. Yeah, I know you can do that. I had this one ridiculous stream. I forget which stream it was, but this one person. Oh, what was his name? Started with an E, I think. He donated a hundred memberships. I think I might have been at that stream. And the entire chat was green. Like everyone was a member. I remember there oh. was one of those streams. Some guy kept giving you like 50 memberships, 50 memberships. Yeah, that was the one. I remember you said, oh man, the credits are going to be <laughs> all pained up. Yeah. Hey. I'm terrified. We had to add Gen 7 Pokemon uh, like yesterday. And I'm like, what? if we get, it's like 700 or something. It's like, if we get to 1,000, like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I genuinely just don't know. I think. Here's one idea. I notice you tend to, on the credits when you show all the sprites, you do like their first ever sprites, like red and blue yeah, yeah, or gold yeah. and silver. Oh, it could maybe do you later could, gen sprites. Maybe you could repeat gen one with uh, fire and leaf green sprites, maybe, or use the 3D models. Oh, that's, yeah. That's just some ideas. People also say it's shinies, which is a cool idea. Okay, so there's lots of stuff that I can do. It's also going to, I'm going to have to ramble for like 10 minutes at the end of every video. I not, guess you'll have to good. fight three Professor Oak videos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Brock is sketchier this time. I just got to him. Oh. I'm trying level 12 instead. See if oh. I can get lucky. Wow. Oh After what you heard from my struggles, you decided to go even lower? That's amazing. I love that. <laughs> well, the Geodude used 9 million defense scrolls. I got by him, but I was one hit away from getting knocked out. So I think I think last time was probably on the upper end of how good the fight can go, and maybe I think it can go worse, a little bit worse than it went right here. Come on, Onyx, be nice to me. I think in yellow it seems like 13 is like pretty solid for Brock. You can probably beat him at a lower level, but I don't, I don't know if that's advisable. Uh, this is getting kind of scary. Yes, 3 HP. No way. Level 12, too. Oh, oh man. my gosh. Oh, that was scary. Well done. Really scary. Did you have any resets? Meanwhile, no. Nice. Meanwhile, this Geodude has gotten me down to 20, and I'm at 13. 16. 12. I have 12 HP for Onyx. Oh. Uh. I was lucky the Onyx just kept using Bide so many times. I don't think I landed a single crit on Geodude. What is this? I think I only landed one crit on Geodude. The rest were on the Onyx. But I'm sure Scott's probably past Mount Moon by now. No, no, I'm just inside Mount Moon. Oh. I'm not that far ahead. I'm... I don't understand. I didn't get a single crit, and I'm down to 19 for Onyx again. Ooh. I think I stole all of Steve's luck. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, sorry about that. What am I doing? I don't know why I would consider defeating Onyx with 9 HP. That doesn't even make any sense. Just save myself the time and reset. It could miss bind, like, or it could miss screech, yeah. like, 30 times. <laughs> uh, these Mount Moon encounters. I think encounters. one thing that... 
I think since the Onyx doesn't have bind in red and blue, I think that's the reason he uses bind more often, because there's less moves. Yeah, it is. It's a one-on-three chance. I wonders if that makes the Onyx easier. I, I think so. I like, bind, bind is not very good. It just wastes time. And you can play around it, especially at the end of the fight. I just beat Brock with one HP. Oh my gosh. Ridiculous. I got, I got three crit gusts in a row on his bide, and it knocked me down to nine, and wow. then he used one tackle to get me to one. Ah, that's, that's terrifying. Oh. Brock is scary. He used hey, there's two my screeches instead of winning. Yeah, he does. Be he is like that. Why does Paris have such a low catch rate? I don't know. No I Helix cringe? Who are you? 23. I, br I put the Paris at red HP by using two water guns. It, I, it took me five Pokeballs, and that was my last one, too. Oh, I, okay, I got like 30 encounters in Mount Moon. This was some of the worst luck I have ever had. Does uh, Yellow Mount Moon have a higher encounter rate? Uh, no, I think it's the same. Viridian Forest was definitely changed, but I'm pretty sure yellow is exactly the same. It might be the same, I think. I wonder if they made the encounter rate higher in Viridian Forest to make it easier to train for Brock. Probably. That's probably why. And they leveled the Pokemon up there so that you have more like higher level yeah. options available. Yeah. Also, I have so many of... memories of playing yellow version and like it was just a rule. You must get slam on Pikachu before Brock. <laughs> slam Pikachu. You have to. It's just, just the way it is. Uh, that's how that's yeah. supposed to work. That's why Steve has a liking to the move slam. Yes, I also have a big liking for the move Thunder, and nobody else does. Thunder? Why Thunder? That move because has always been bad. I, it was it was always about the damage as a kid. Like, yeah, any um, Thunder at level 41, sure, I sure, increase sure. the damage output. Uh, oh, Dragon Rage next level. Thank you for the reminder. I, I don't know, is Dragon Rage useful, though? Like, It was for Nugget Bridge. Was it? Okay. Did I? Did I just hear that come out of your mouth? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It didn't, doesn't seem like it's that useful. Like, Bubble Beam yeah, just speaks everything. I guess, uh, extra PP? I guess, yeah. Like, it's, like obviously I'll teach it in the place of Rock Throw, because Rock Throw is trash, but... Are you disrespecting my boy Rock Throw? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you know how many Zubats I just knocked out with Rock Throw? Terrible move. Oh, it's 41 health. Lovely. I forgot to heal for the rival. I went in the rival at 13 HP and just got one shot immediately. No. Did you save? Darn. Yeah, I did. Luckily. Okay, that's good. Sometimes that if happens to me when I, yeah, I haven't I saved. Did, if I didn't and I like ended up back at Brock or something, I probably would have activated my cheat button. Yeah, that's like rewind time. Yeah. Hey, I don't think any of us have cheated today. Nope. I think we're all playing by the rules. Yeah. Wow. Look at us go. So did everyone see me pick up Charmander there and how it took like literally like 0.5 seconds? Yeah, they don't they don't get that luxury in red and red and blue. Hmm. And the reason you play blue is because of the sand true, right? Correct. Yeah. I just do it to set it apart from my red runs. I think my... Different thumbnails. It's the only reason I do it. I think my music think stopped. Red is technically yeah. more popular. Yeah, I use red version for my edited uh, red and blue runs. But for the live streams, I do blue version, just so the thumbnails are different. That's smart. I do the same thing with leaf green and fire red. Fire yeah. red's for backports, leaf green's for normal runs. I did Leaf Green first just because that's what I played as a kid. But when I wanted to do backboards, the software only worked with Fire Red. So I'm like, huh, I guess that's a reason to make a Fire Red overlay. Okay, I started the music again. I lost like five seconds doing that. So I guess the number of games I do play is more than 11 if you count Blue and uh, yeah. Fire Red. 
I think like red and, red and blue feel like similar games. Like yeah, they don't feel the that same. different. Yeah, it's, that's why I said like if you count, if you want to count that. Yeah, like gold and like gold, silver, and crystal actually all feel like very similar games too. There are like there's so few differences in those games, whereas like I, blue and I think like blue and yellow are like quite fundamentally different. Oh yeah, I Who's used the big to. Silver guy? I used to speed run like Pokemon Gold like four years ago, and half of the differences I can tell you about are having to do with like someone was used to be a spinner this one guy's three tiles over this guy's not mandatory yeah yeah, yeah. That's, that's that is the, the biggest difference between the games yeah yeah they changed like so many of the trainer like, positions uh, austin that's to close see I, trying to see if i can think of an example so dragon rage kind of becomes trash after nugget bridge because like everything is higher leveled then all right, one difference oh, I know God, is on the early route. Uh, Youngster Joey is actually mandatory in gold and silver. He's optional in crystal. Oh, uh, yeah. That's like one of the few diff one of the trainers like that. That is a difference, yeah. I mean, I would play gold or silver on my channel if like crystal changed gym leaders or something. Like, yeah. if, if there were different teams, that's enough of yeah. a difference to justify it. Yeah, if it was like fundamentally different in some way then it would be interesting yeah. but it's it's just like it's not different enough to make it an inter like interesting i think the only yeah. like the only reason i would play it again is if i was going to do like a series with fundamentally different rules and then i want to wait like differentiate between the two series then maybe gold and silver would be useful for that secondary series yeah well i guess wait. crystal does have the move tutors Red, red and blue are just literally different encounter tables. Uh, there's a few more differences. There's some weird stuff in there. Like uh, the... What's it called? The um, the prizes in the, the game intro? corner are different. Oh yeah, they Correct. are. The, One of them, the Porygon, is not 999. Yes, it's weird. I don't know why. It's like blue version or something. It's like not 999, but then the other one is 999. Yeah. That's one of the reasons I liked Leaf Green as a kid. I remember yes. saving up for the Porygon, and I'm like, oh, thank you, I am not playing red, Fire Red. Yeah. I actually like the game corner in Gen 2. Um, I found that you kind of just always win, at least if you're in a certain machine. So, like, I would go to a restaurant, and I would just hold yep. down, I think, the A button the entire time, and by the time I was done with the restaurant... I didn't even notice, but like, you know, I accumulated like, let's say 4,000 coins. Yeah. The, uh, there was actually a rigged game corner machine in generation two. Only one of the machines in the, in the game corner, but it's rigged. It has a higher rate of giving you payouts. And there is a certain guy who sits on it all the time. He only goes away during the morning. So you can, in the morning, you can go and get onto that machine and then get a uh, higher higher win chances i think that's also in the fire red and leaf green too yeah it probably is was the machine in like the the like right section and then facing left uh i don't remember where it is i had a lucky machine that i like there are like three you know sections air areas and i would yeah i would go in like the t second or third machine from the bottom facing left hmm I mean, I don't actually know. All I know is that in Red in Gen 1 and Gen 3, there were some machines you would try and use. It would say, like, someone's keys are here. They must be at lunch. Oh, this machine yep. is broken. Yeah. That's all I know. I kind of like that little detail. Despite okay. playing so much Pokemon, I pretty much never read anybody's text. Yeah, me either. And then everyone always gets on my case when I say, like, Lance has a Charizard that beats a guy up in Generation 2. They're like, actually, it's Dragonite, because the text says Dragonite. But, like, look at the sprite. The sprite looks like Charizard. I it's know, red. I it's red. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I won't like bother with, like fixing like a tiny wording mistake like that. I just leave it in there and see if someone catches it. <laughs> I got to yeah, now I'm at like a point where it's just like sometimes I put those things in cuz I'm just like let's see who comments. <laughs> uh 
if I've made a mistake yeah. in the past and then people like call me on it a lot, sometimes I'm just like, this is a now a meme. It will yeah. be in every one of my videos. Man, why does the wrapping last have to be over 40 HP? I know. Would be really nice if Dragon Rage could one hit her stuff. Yeah. So you're saying I have an uphill climb. I just beat Surge. Nice. Hey John, thanks for gifting two memberships. So the the lead that I get from Brock is absurd because I'm in Celadon City. Oof. I I am just entering Rock Tunnel. I am just picking up the bike. Yeah, that Brock gives you a big lead. So, really big lead. Sometimes. Yep. Did you first try him? Yeah, I did both times. Speed, was your level 12 attempt to first try? It was. That's why I was so nervous. <sighs> wow. How many tries did it take you? I've got two resets. I mean, how many was it last time? Pretty much just got to uh, Onyx and then lost immediately because I didn't crit like the Geodude a single time. And I got like two Onyx with like 19 or 16 HP. Okay, I hope this person in the department store doesn't block me again. Okay, no block. The body block there is frustrating. I also always buy two Polka Dolls, even though I don't need them. Does anyone else do that? Uh, I have, like, no intent on using them, but then I'm just like... Um, I think more likely than not, I forget the second Polka Doll. I always buy one, but I have to tell myself to get a second one. Mm. Having to hold part, on to a having yeah. to hold on to a second Poké Doll though is really annoying for the bag space because you don't get access to Mimic for quite a while. Yeah, and you have to hold on to it. I know. I always do a deposit in Celadon City so that I don't have to worry about the bag space. Is that really like like is that a preference or are there just like more items that we just don't think about in Yellow? Uh, it's just a preference, honestly. Like, I think in most runs, if, like, you're trying to shoot for, like, the fastest possible time to beat the game, you, you don't need to do that. Because you can, yeah. you can usually route it perfectly that you don't have to, like, you'll never, like, go over capacity. You can just cut out enough, like, items that are not valuable. Like, ethers That's and stuff. I have, like, I got, like, the repels, like, nailed. It's, like, five... Um, three is for Rock Tunnel, one is in front of Snorlax, and one is for the Safari Zone. Mm. And then I usually get eight Super Repels if I want to get all the vitamins, seven if I don't. Mm. I always just do three Repels in Vermilion and then ten Super Repels, and that's it. I used to do three, but I've actually started doing four because uh, sometimes huh. I would mess up my moves. Yes. <laughs> and if I, if I did have that spare... I can use it for cycling road. Also, if you reset, um, in oh my gosh, this ghastly. Okay, it's not bad, but uh, also yes. if you reset, you um, it, it takes away a repel that you've used. So if you reset in uh, rock tunnel and then you lose your repel, then you have to see wild encounters if you didn't buy four. Yeah, that's, that's usually that's why especially I buy self destructing hiker. Yeah, it's usually why I buy eight because then it leaves me the one yeah, extra. That's smart. Oh, reset on Agatha Jr. Oh no! Back to Rival Four. Painful. Darn. Oh, when you didn't say about the ghastly. Yeah. When I talked about the you and you talked about the ghastly. I was just entering the tower. I'm like, huh? I must be gaining some ground. But yeah, you already defeated Erica. No. I, mm. I skip. I skip Erica till I at least do Fuchsia. Yeah, me too. Oh, interesting. I did Erica immediately. I don't really like doing that because Victory Bell is scary. Yeah, I'm like also like sleep powder. sleep powder. I'm just terrified of sleep powder. Actually, I wonder if her good AI will just make her spam acid. Oh, yeah, she might spam acid. She used rap on my first attempt. Mm, yeah, that checks out. Or that. Normal. That too. Hmm. Okay. I don't really love whoever agility. decided to put a heal pad in the tower. Yeah, the heal pad is so nice. 
Yeah, you can like plan your heal around that and just save a trip. I didn't learn agility, everyone. Rejoice. <laughs> Man, you're uh, gonna lose now. It's a good move. I know. What well, what will I do without it? Just have no speed. Oh. I don't oh, know. Scott. I guess. Oh yeah, Scott. Thanks for uh, thanks for your help uh, working on my overlays. I really appreciate it a lot. Yeah, no problem. It's fun. I'm glad I could help a little bit. It's nice not needing to rely on uh, own mappers anymore. Yeah. Because I always took the lazy way out. Yeah. Like, if I can't change my code, just change the source. Yeah. And then when the source changes, everything breaks. Yes. That's hap It's happened a lot. And I think other, I think other people have fallen into that trap too. I saw some people. Yeah, hopefully less and less people as we, as I get like more and more of the code out there that will fix that for people. You know, I was quite surprised how many people are actually just using the depreciated mappers. Yeah, I'm only right now. I only use it for red and blue. I still use them. I haven't switched. It's like. You oh, actually haven't? No, I haven't. I want to switch, but I, I haven't had time yet. I thought I was going to get time in January, but then there was like... Tech stuff always takes longer to develop and fix than, than you expect. So there was a lot of other oh, yeah. like fires that had to be put out, and I was not able to upgrade my stuff just yet. But I have a, I hired a programmer now, so he's working on, on my refactor. Yeah, I remember... Uh... I remember I was at one of your uh, right, go on. uh, game hook uh, work sessions in Discord. I yep. remember Flame Sage said it as a joke. You should hire a programmer. Then I saw your community post and I'm like, huh, oh, <laughs> he actually did it. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> it's time. That's, that's actually funny. Yeah, I know. It was How long probably... did it take to get a response? Uh, I got a bunch of responses that day and then the next day. And then I had to like decide between people and do interviews. So I did interviews on Friday. Oh, nice. I really appreciate everyone who reached out, so thank you if you did reach out. It's good to know there's people that want to help. I haven't did been not... talking as much because I'm just trying to focus on not messing up. Oh, I know, I know, I know. I'm prone not... to doing that in these. Not learning agility was a little bit more of a struggle this time. Okay. Well, I'm glad that it got you this time. But as soon as you said that, almost, it tried to yeah. make me learn it. Yeah, just be careful, everyone. <laughs> Don't learn agility. Yeah. It's not the right choice. The one guy in the comment might disagree. Okay. Yeah, someone will tell us why agility is the best move, I'm sure. Definitely should have had it. No. Oh. For your viewing pleasure, I will heal that poison so that you don't have to watch these annoying flashes. I should probably mod that out because I know Gym Leader Matt modded that out so that he doesn't have to cut around it when making videos. That's so smart. I notice in red and blue specifically, it's really a lot more invisible. I don't know if yeah. yellow it pops out a lot more. Yeah, it's fainter in red and blue. Oh, I just figured uh, four times speed was like kind of like the flash rate, so it's like not very noticeable. Right. Yeah. It's just annoying, like like because like I slow my footage down for the videos. Like usually, like the default speed playback speed when we're editing the videos is fifty percent, and then we sometimes go down to twenty five percent, and then sometimes up to a hundred percent or seventy five percent. So when we slow it down, then it starts looking real janky, especially if it's on one times speed. Isn't that why you record in 240 FPS? Yeah. This is so I can slow I it down and not lose frames. I actually just started doing that on my PC. Yeah. I now record in 180 FPS. Yeah. My old PC was would basically catch on fire if I did that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I tried. I know your it your almost, old PC was like a potato, wasn't it? It was it was pretty old. Uh, it was a it was a uh, refurbished uh, Dell office tower. Ah. Uh, like those kind of computers. Yeah, yeah I know what you're talking office. about. 
I only paid a hundred bucks for it too. Oh, that's a sweet deal. I know it was it was cheap because it was missing the hard drive. But then my friend uh, oh, gave no. me a free one. But you want to know something funny about that uh, free hard drive? What? Do it's they... a lap. It's it's a laptop hard drive in a converter. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it was. Well, I'm glad and you got an I upgrade. I saved up for it. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. A GPU and I got it online, so I didn't have to ask the computer guy, "Hey, what's the best PC to play yellow version?" Yeah, I, I yeah. That is the question to ask. Uh, my GPU is a thirty thirty eighty. Thirty eighty. Yeah, you got like a, a forty eighty, isn't it? Uh, yeah, forty eighty. Yeah. All right, where is everyone at right now? These runs. Um, beating Koga. Giovanni too. Beating Giovanni too. Did you do Koga already? No. Okay. I was like, oh my gosh, you're way ahead of me. Okay, I got four HP for the rest of Koga's Pokemon. Fingers crossed, two meditates is good enough. Huh, I never even it thought it. Yeah, I didn't teach meditate either again. I think Rayquaza is just good enough. <laughs> Annie. Just good enough. That is this thing's quite a the beast. statement. This thing is a beast. Oh my gosh. I actually, when I saw the move pool and we started with Gust, my initial thought was just like, oh, this is going to be like a slog. It's going to take so long to get out of the early game. It's not going to be that fun. But I'm really enjoying this because once you basically get by Brock, everything just feels smooth as butter. Yeah, yeah Brock kind of feels like, uh, what's a good, Chansey. It feels like Chansey. Like Chansey beating Brock? It has to do it with yes. Pound, right? With five base attack. Yeah. <laughs> Why'd they give uh, it five it, base attack? It's so weird. Because that'd be too OP. Uh, it would be. I think it would be, yeah. If he makes it feel make you feel better, Blissey has ten attack. It doubles. Doubles, that's great. Wow. Yeah. I have I don't know if you ever plan on doing Blissey and Crystal. I can it's oh, not yeah, as I'll bad as it. you think. It's actually pretty decent. I plan on doing every Pokemon in every game. I will just keep going until there are no Pokemon left. And then I'll come back and do all the games all over again. <laughs> I stop when I have zero subscribers again. I start from zero, and then I, I stop when I have zero. <laughs> what, you do it so much, people the, walk away? Yeah, it, yeah, when I'm like 70 years old, playing Pokemon Yellow, I'll have one subscriber, and then... And that person will unsubscribe, and that'll be that. I don't think that's usually how channels no, die. I don't think that's how it works. That's the poetic. Also, Steve yeah. is not talking, and Steve is, like, in focus mode. He's going to beat us both now. I yeah, just haven't had an does. opportunity to pop in. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. It's just in the first no. round, you were doing a well, lot of the talking. Well, you, you guys were both in, like, a groove, and I don't want to mess it up. I'm just yeah, terrible. I try not interrupt during a groove. Um, that's like the like over the pandemic, just like Zoom calls and stuff, and just talking over everyone else. So it was so painful. Uh, uh, yeah, the gym leader mass stream gave us some practice. Yeah. Like, normally with Discord, you have to like wait a few seconds before talking because of delay. Yep. If you yep. have more than one, I'd say for every person, add five seconds. Yep. Okay, Steve, where are you at now? I just defeated Sabrina, so now I'm heading okay. to Koga. Oh, Koga, I you did you Sabrina first. Oh, no, I'm stupid. I'm very, very stupid. No, Blaine. no, no, I'm doing, going to Blaine. Okay, yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> no, I, I pretty much play the game in the order it was meant to. Yeah. In red and blue, I feel like it's a little bit easier to play the game in the order. It's kind of hard in yellow. I Like, I did that in red and blue today when I was playing. I immediately went for uh, Sylph before going to Koga, and then very quickly learned that that was definitely a mistake. Interesting. Oh. I actually went to Sylph, and I did not regret it one bit. Mm. I did the same thing. Picking up oh. Earthquake before Koga was a great idea. It was. Oh, yeah. Now well, doing that does make sense. Uh, Koga is not weak to Earthquake in this game. Isn't doesn't he still have all fire types? Oh, Blaine, yeah, Blaine, Koga. Yeah, I was a I was confused. Well, both, honestly. 
Yeah. Yeah, both. Yeah, Earthquake's good against both of them. Oh, yeah. Oh. Fire, not in Fire and Leaf Green, though, with those Levitating users. I'd say just the fact they added Levitate made Koga way harder than the originals. Just because you yeah. can't use Dig or Earthquake, yeah. you got to think of something else. Levitate changes so much in the in the remakes, like on Agatha as well. Because with Agatha, yeah, yeah. you you can't just spam Dig or Earthquake. Yeah, people always talk about like nerfing the Psychic type. No one ever talks about the remakes nerfing Ground types. Yeah, that's true. They ground type is really it. good in Generation One. It's usually just the case that they're weak to Grass and Water types and quite slow that makes them worse. Yeah. But getting a ground type move is excellent coverage. Yeah. Oh. It's the ground typing, not the oh, yeah, yeah, not yeah. the ground type Pokemon. Yeah, exactly. I played uh <laughs> I played Marowak the other day. That's fun. Marowak. Its moveset makes absolutely no sense. It makes no sense. <laughs> Did you know it gets ice beam? It, it does get ice mm -hmm. beam and water gun. Steve what is apparently... happening? <laughs> Uh, apparently Steve read somewhere that the reason it does is because one of the director's favorite Pokemon was Marowak. So no just way. Gave it all the good it's That's like hilarious. That, yeah. It doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah. It do yeah, it really doesn't make any sense. Where are you, Speed? Uh, I just beat Giovanni. Oh, I'm like in the middle of Giovanni, so I've made a slight comeback. Despite your early Brock. I'm not as far ahead this time. I'm doing strength puzzles in Victory Road. Have you ever dug out of Victory Road? Yes, a lot. It hurts every time. It's That's always when I, it's always when I do a battle. You do a battle and then the cursor resets to the top of the inventory and you think you're opening the Pokemon menu and your cursor is already pre-buffered on the strength user, so you spam A. Yeah. And then you spam A through yeah. the Pokemon that uses dig, because it's at the top of their moveset. Uh, and then you dig yeah. out. It's painful. Like if your main Pokemon has yes. dig. Yes. Yes. What did I do? Steve with would always last? say, like Steve would Golem. always tell me when you finish Blaine. Just delete dig for earthquake. Yes. Almost yes. everything that gets dig is earthquake. Also to prevent comments. Because there's always someone who's why do you still have why do you still have dig? Isn't earthquake better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Honestly, I would kind of argue that sometimes dig is better. Yeah, if you get one. paralyzed and you get invulnerability yeah. if you don't move when you're underground, that's always nice. Okay. Do you know if that same glitch happens with fly? It does, yeah. It happens with both. Yeah, but Fly is bad. Yeah, Fly is not so good. Have either of you guys used the bike this entire run? I'm on the bike right uh, now. Oh, yeah, I use the bike. I don't use the bike. Okay, Van Man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have for the same reason. <laughs> that Van slayed Man me. Yeah, I, mean, I have the same reason that I don't use the bike, and it's Van Man's reason. Yeah, it's, I think it's a fair reasoning. Like, I think I, I do think that the bike is faster, but it's only faster if you're one hundred percent sure you're not going to significantly mess up with it. Like, if you know that I've you're going to make, yeah, like if you know you're going to make several mistakes here and there with the bike, it's probably better to just walk because you don't gain enough time. Like, you can tilt yourself yeah. by like being terrible with the bike easier than just like walking and like net neutral in terms of uh, interaction should just like yeah take the safer approach um okay yes all right lorelei time good luck Ooh. okay you do have more of a lead than i thought it's the bike man what do i what can i say no it's not the bike it totally is the bike i think it's uh the level 12 first try brock Oh, that hurts. I lived Blizzard at 13 HP from Lapras, and it froze me. No. Wow. Two that hurt. in this run. Crazy. Okay, I'm doing champion. Apparently the... Oh, apparently the Dugon can survive a Thunderbolt. Yeah. Mine always survived. Yeah, mine was surviving all the time last time, but this time I, I one-shot every single one of her Pokemon. <laughs> it's like... It felt like I just, broken. I, I was like, wow, like, okay... This fight's actually really easy. 
I think it's because I crit the Dugon every come run on. until now. Come on, sub 40. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, 39-37. Oh. I feel like Rick. I feel like Rayquaza is one of the few exceptions where yellow is faster. Yeah, I think yellow is faster. And I think, like, um, I think, like, yellow is generally going to be faster if the Pokemon uh, is weak to Brock. Because then it takes longer, usually, to win in red yeah. and blue. Yeah, if it's bad against Brock, but it excels at everything else. Yeah, and Rayquaza is just powerful enough that the uh, extreme level increase in excuse me, in the mid game isn't actually a problem for it. Whereas with like a slightly weaker Pokemon, when all the Pokemon level up a lot during the mid game, then bosses like Koga, Sabrina, Blaine all become very tricky in yellow. And usually you lose a lot of time there. Whereas in red and blue, the level curve is more like linear and it's a little bit easier to just like go from one to the other and beat them all. Okay. Yeah. It seems like in yellow version, I think they the intended way for yellow is for you to beat Erica, then do Silphco, and then you can go do the other gyms. Yeah, I do think that that's how they wanted you to play it. Like, do the yeah, middle of it, the map kind of first, and then journey down to Fuchsia, because it's further away. I never did it in that order, though. They prevent. They don't prevent you from doing it the red and blue way, though, which is why, like, it's, it's really weird that Koga and Sabrina have the same ace levels. Yeah. Yeah, it is weird. Wow. It's crazy to see how much time we cut off. I know. I know. That's a lot of time for a red and blue run. And, and also a Pokemon that's this fast. Like, I say that a lot, but when the Pokemon's time is very low, when you save like two or three minutes, it's very significant. When it's a, already yeah, a fast like Pokemon. In, it'd be like if in Emerald you save nine minutes. Yeah. Crap. You gotta think of a proportion. Come on, short sleep, short sleep, please. Oh no. Oh, we're both oh. in the champion. Oh no, I'm oh. asleep. I'm I I have five oh, five turns so far. Six turns. Okay, I don't have enough HP to survive a blizzard. But I got a crit. 4150. Oh darn it. I did not have enough chance enough <laughs> HP to survive. I oh, the, no. executor, the executor Gen 1 missed a stomp while I was asleep and I still lost. What why is the executor an MVP today? I don't, you know, it hit every hypnosis it tried. It actually did for me too. I only won that first run just because I woke up early enough. Okay. Right. Oh, now this time it goes for barrage. So I couldn't have done that earlier. Oh, sleep powder. <laughs> sleep powder is so scary. Or so hypnosis. It, it's like when the executor uses it. Sometimes you just wake up right away and it doesn't matter, but other times you sleep for like seven turns and it slowly chips you down with barrage. Oh. Yeah. 42, 32. Painful. Okay. The Blastoise had to miss a third. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, I want to do a little bit of data comparison here. Uh, Steve, can you can you go back to can you go back to your results so that I can see them again? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have the game time? Okay. Yeah. Sweet. So, um. Game time. Mine was 2 hours 36 minutes. Yours was 2 hours 41 minutes. And speed, what was yours? Um, 238. 238. Okay, so we're all within like the same 10 minute, 8 minute range. Or like 6 yeah. minute range for finish times, which makes sense. What I do think is really interesting, I'm level 58. Steve was level 57. And speed, what are you, 55? Uh... I would have I been 58, but I missed. I, I missed, missed one book. candy. Okay. I'm checking game book. 55. 55. Okay. So like, speed did way fewer battles, but had yeah. more resets. And Reset then candies did you get? Nine. Mm -hmm. I had ten. And I did. I, I did Victory eleven. I did eleven. I, I did. Where's the eleventh? Uh, I had eleven the first run. I forget where I missed one. It's it's Mount Moon, Cerulean, SSN, oh, Pokemon Candy. Tower, Cycling Road, Boulder Candy. The Boulder Candy. There's that one in Sylph, two in Pokemon Mansion, one in Rocket Hideout, one in Victory Road, one in the Power Plant, and one in um, a Cerulean Cave. The Boulder 13. Candy infuriates me in a lot of runs because I like to do. Uh, 
I'd like to save Erica yeah. for as long as possible mm. just because she's out of the way to me. But if you do that, you miss that rare candy. I think it Plus, was you don't have to Yes. Lie. Or you go back I for it. I didn't have Lapras at the time. Yeah. Well, this was really fun. Hey. Wait, what were yeah. the... Of all the times, what were what were our final results for all these Pokemon? Uh, let's see. I haven't got my leaderboards made. All right. So for me, my Kyogre was 35, 38. Okay. Groudon was 36, 34. Okay. Rayquaza's 42. That, yeah, that makes sense. It makes Same sense that those two are slower. Three. Same level for all three of them. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's like fairly close to minimum battles. I didn't really like... I did quite a bit of optional training, and I think that if I did this one again, I would probably just like start cutting... Like, I think the next run that I would do of this to test it would be cut every single optional battle and just see if Rayquaza struggles at any point when um when going through on minimum battles because I, I don't know like does it need the candy on the SS hand to fight the gentleman it probably doesn't need that candy it can probably skip body slam and just use fly like I think I think I could have skipped Body Slam, but I did absolutely rely on Earthquake. It's probably a red and blue thing. Mm, yeah, maybe Earthquake is, like, the one optional trainer that you'd fight. Or the, like, Body Slam guy and then Earthquake guy. Like, those two would be probably the highest on my list of, like, people to fight in the run. Interestingly yeah. enough, I battled uh, Body Slam Girl, too. Oh, really? That was an accident. Oh, no. <laughs> I only ever fight her if it was an accident. If I pressed right by mistake, I'm like, well, you only have to fight one of them to get that move. The, oh, no, I did it on my way out. <laughs> I just held up too long. <laughs> the The most painful accident I have ever had is in, I was playing a normal type, I think it was Persian, and I accidentally ran into the guy with four Pokemon in Rock Tunnel. And they're like, it's like Graveler, Geodude, Geodude, and Machop or something. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, like, no. <laughs> this run is dead. I, I just restarted. It's one of them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the guy, I, uh, the guy next to, uh, so it's the room with, um, the room before the, the two, three rooms from the end. Yes. There's a guy with a graveler geodude that's blocking it. That you have to hug the wall. Yes. To avoid. Yeah, that on guy. On the right of just entering that room is the trainer with four Pokemon that you're mentioning. I know that guy, uh. Yeah. You have to you have to hug the the wall, and if you don't hug the wall, then it, they'll see you. Yep. Uh well, thank you for having me on to do these runs. This was really fun. It was fun playing yeah, with no with your rules as well as the instant tech speed. It's not something I do, so yeah. it's really yeah. excuse me fun playing the game in a in a different yeah. way. Yeah, if you're ever down to do it again at some point, uh, we're Steve and I are trying to invite like other people to do the runs with at least once a week nice we have a couple that's awesome people lined up sweet um which pokemon i'm totally down to do it in the future again because this is really fun oh. um wh which, which run are you gonna do doing. next i don't know about next but we have like the next seven planned out uh okay. we've made the move set for oh yeah zekrom would be the first and then sweet. we have reshiram Kiram. i think we also made the move sets and sprites for latios right. latios dialga palkia and arceus I'm I'm nice. bringing up the spreadsheet now. We've got Latios, Latios, Hoa, Lugia, Arceus, Zekrom, Reshram, Kiram, Dialga, and Palkia. Speed, I, I did see your Arceus sprite, and it is amazing. I'm, I'm really proud yeah, of it. Yeah, it looks so good. Don't look at my Palkia one. That's <laughs> bad. You know what? I'm going to show it on stream anyway uh... since I said it. I'll show both of them. All right, guys. Let's see. Gen 1 sprites. <laughs> Here's the hold up. Oh, good. Okay, I, I gotta here see this. The, yeah, here is the Arceus front sprite I made right here. Also, uh, fun fact, uh, the Gen 2 front sprites are the same pixel size, so for Ho and Lugia, yes. I actually copied over crystals. Yeah, yeah, that's I what I do. do. The back sprite. Yep. I couldn't do the back sprite, though, because the back sprites are 56 by 56. Yeah, the back sprites so need to, to be, be, be done yeah, originally. Okay, now here is uh, the Palkia. <laughs> I tried my best. So watching YouTube, we're still I'm still seeing our series, Yeah, I know, it's a we'll little bit there. delayed. We're we're waiting for it. Everyone is waiting in eager anticipation. And everyone if yeah. you if you can't see them on my stream, you gotta go check their streams out. 
Yep. Because I'm not a you very good streamer. You want to see my good spritesmanship. Oh, the Arceus is so good. It looks, it genuinely looks like a Game Freak sprite. It's so good. Yeah, yeah the, I... the Palkia one is. You know, yeah, I... it, it like, it works. It works, yeah. but it, it's not great. It's definitely not like no. the Ar uh, at the Arceus level. Like, there's just no. not quite enough pixels to get all the detail in Palkia and, like, make it look really convincing. Did you improve yeah. it a little bit since last time? Because I could have sworn the eye uh, was just no. one dot and there was <laughs> nothing around it. The <sighs> eyes are the hardest. Here's, yeah, this will be delayed by, like, 15 seconds or whatever, but I just put up Dialga. Yeah, eyes. Besides, like, eye. Yeah. yeah, I think the rest of it looks really good. Yeah, eyes are Dialga. so hard when you have, like, 28 by 28 pixels or whatever it is. It's just, like... Yeah. Okay, so there's going to be like a white dot and then a black dot and then a white dot and they're all in a yeah. line and hopefully that looks like an eye. Yeah, when you do the Gen 1 sprites, all you can work with is black, dark gray, and light gray. Yeah. White is just a free color. What I would do is like sometimes on the lighter areas, white would be like the light. And for dark gray, I would use the light gray. You can use two different lighting colors. It's what I figured out with Arceus. <laughs> My yeah. brain is like, ooh, unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> That's what he said to me, yeah. Nice. Okay, well, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, I, I appreciate everyone who came out and checked out my end of the stream. Uh, I am going to be streaming tomorrow yeah. again, so if you want to come and see some, I think Gen 2. Oh, nice. What yeah. time are you streaming? I'll be in the middle of the day, so like 1 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. And I'll probably be 30 nice. minutes late because apparently I can never be on time. Is it a surprise what you're streaming? Uh, I think it's going to be Sneasel and Crystal. Oh, no. I know. Oh, that's bad. I've done that. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. It... Special attacker to physical attacker's body. Yeah. It's probably going to be like a five-hour stream. I'm at, uh, five, six hours I'm anticipating. You're going to be doing two attempts? I'll do two attempts, yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, have you... you I, I know you did it way, way long ago for a versus race, but have you done Steelix since? No, I, I haven't, but spoilers, I am planning to do Steelix again this year, so. It's so bad. It is, yeah. yeah. Uh, I remember Gym Leader Matt did a Steelix too. Both Steve and uh, Matt, their Steelix, I think, had to be in like the low 90s to survive a flamethrower and a surf. But I was able to find a strat to beat him at only level 70. Oh, nice. Yeah, I won't say it to avoid spoilers. Yeah, yeah. We actually did the math, too. Like, he's like, I think this was a very bad run. And I'm like, hey, you know what? Let's name every single scenario that could possibly happen. Yeah. And then we figured out, you know what? He was like a standard deviation above what should have happened. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so like, I, I was telling Steve about the 30 or so resets I had on that one run because my stretches would not work to save my life. And he kept telling me all the like all the chances, and he kept telling me I'm probably doing the math wrong. Oh no! And then he came to that conclusion, and I'm like, yeah. "Well, that's a that's a long way of just saying I'm unlucky." It came out to like a 5.75 percent chance to win, yeah. which does not equate to 30 plus resets, unless you're a standard deviation above bad luck. Yeah, I had the yeah. Quillfish stream where my strategy was headbutt and then cause a flinch on the Espeon and then knock it out and um headbutt, headbutt. so it's gonna be 30 percent chance right and I, I think i failed like 10 plus headbutts in a row without flinching once it was so aggravating doesn't quillfish have like minimize uh yeah but i i banned all evasion moves now even in level up even in level up wow so pikachu must be bad yeah pikachu's bad yeah, Scott, you still owe us that Pikachu redo without Surf. I do, I do. There will be a Pikachu redo at some point. It'll probably be a three-way yeah. versus video. Pikachu versus Magnemite versus Voltorb. I I'm am a, not looking forward to filming up. this. I think if, I, like... uh, <sighs> if I had to, if I had to put money on which of those three would win, I would probably say. That's Magnemite what... just because of early Sonic Boom. Yeah, or, no, it doesn't. Hit. It gets tackle. Just tackle. Oh, yeah, it only oh gets... we, did, we did a run with it's Magnemite. It's tackle until like level 17 fighter. or something. It's so bad. Yeah. Uh, surprisingly, I think Magneton was a little bit underrated. Yeah. 
Starting with Sonic Boom, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to... didn't have the four times weakness to ground type moves yet. I'm just going to not say much about Magneton right now, but... Yeah. I swear produced videos are coming back very soon. Yeah, guys, think of all the December stuff. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for having me on. Um, I'm going to end my stream now, Great. so no thanks problem. everyone for hanging out. I really appreciate it, and I'll talk mm -hmm. to you all later.